I started out with a rash on my face and then I kind of transitioned to like a sunburn and then it got worse and worse. I'm kind of a vain person as anyone would be at a junior in college and um, it was hard for me to deal with that such a physical manifestation. Lupus is a disease that affects the different systems of the body and I kind of have gone through the gamut of them all. There were days when I couldn't walk, I couldn't barely get out of bed, um, my hair was falling out in clumps. I had an infection in my gallbladder, I had to have my gallbladder removed and part of the intestines. It was really scary and I think throughout the whole time I've had lupus, it's really kind of been this emotional roller coaster. Lupus is a debilitating disease and it's a disease where there's not, um, you know, there's a paucity of, of, of effective therapies to treat that disease. The current therapies, if given for prolonged periods of time, have a number of complications associated with them. You're stuck between this rock and a hard place of, do I want to feel better from the lupus? Then I have to have these side effects from the medicine, or do I forego the medicine and just put up with the lupus so not to deal with the side effects? Lupus is pretty well known, but as far as the advancements in science, it's been a little slow. Now knowing that Pfizer's on board, I think that it could only create good things. As we start to build this new R&D ecosystem, we've reflected on the opportunity to partner with non-for-profits and other patient advocacy and foundation groups. One of the reasons the Alliance for Lupus Research is so proud to be partnering with Pfizer is Pfizer is as passionate about finding new therapies for lupus as ALR is. Working together we're confident that new therapies can be discovered. This is a true partnership with the Alliance for Lupus Research, one by which we jointly identify and jointly fund new areas of science that have a direct impact in patients with lupus. In the beginning, when I was diagnosed, lupus was a very scary word, not only to patients, but also to doctors. I think they didn't understand it and therefore advised against a lot of things. They advised against working out. They advised against pregnancy. I don't think people should live that way and I think with the advancements in science I would hope that in the future that people don't need to live with limitations.